In this video, I'll show you how to have your bot retrieve the date of the user currently chatting with your bot. The first thing we'll do is create the date variable that will contain the date. Your bot will be able to retrieve the date based on your user's local machine. So in this case, I'll just create a variable called date and I'll save it in a string format. The next thing we'll do is place an execute code card in any node. So here, I'll just create a regular node and I'll pop an execute code card into it. Now, you can write the code yourself or have BotPress AI generate it for you. That's what I'll do first. So here, I'll just type out in natural language what I want to happen. So I'll say get the current date and save it to the variable date in a human readable string format. So in this case, now the code that's being generated is going to retrieve the date on my user's local machine and save it to the variable date in a format that we can read. If you prefer to write the code yourself, here's how you would do that. Let's pop into the code editor on my execute code card and turn off the AI field generation. Now we can go ahead and pop in our code. Here, three things are going to happen. We're going to fetch the current date. We're going to convert it into a string format that's human readable. And we'll save that value to our botpress variable called date. Done. Now that everything's been put together, let's test it out. To make sure that this is working, I'll send a simple text message card that includes that date variable. So here, I'll just say today's date is at workflow.date, happy bot building. And now in the emulator, let's give it a try. So if I say hi, there we go, we see the correct date. Very cool, happy bot building.